Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Bangy Man. Oh, let me just go close the door every time I forget it. Okay, I'm here. Okay, so this is a Google Home Mini. I unboxed it, but this, um, but the when I try to post it, the YouTube didn't want me to post it. It was like, oh, I don't want your YouTube video to be posted uh, it's not responding so it doesn't respond and I couldn't post it so here we go with the Google Home Mini unboxed earlier so here we go that's the plug-in wire I'm gonna just go go ahead and plug in it really hard to plug it in because you know it has this hole in it so you have to get it in it's really hard really hard finally man okay Google wait what what's the time okay Google huh? it's a microphone Okay, Google, what's the time? It's... By the way, the mic's off. To turn it back on, slide the switch on the back of Google Home. That's... By the way, the mic's off. To turn it back on, slide the switch on the back of Google Home. Okay, that scared me. Hey, Google. Oh, my God. By the way, the, the mic's back on. Hey Google, what's the time? Hey Google, what's the time right now in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada? The time in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan is 11, 11 a.m. Finally. Do you seriously have to say like Saskatchewan, Canada, Saskatoon? Hey Google, what's the time? Can I just say that? 11:11. 11, 11. Yep, that's good. Hey Google, when was Donald Trump born? Donald Trump was born on June 14th, 1946. Okay. Thank you. Uh, hey Google. Siri is better than you. I don't understand. Oh. Hey Google. Siri in Apple is better than you. It's hard to compare. We're like apples and oranges. Because Siri works for Apple, and I like oranges. What the heck in the world is she talking about? Apples and oranges? Hey Google, do you like fruits? I'm bananas for bananas. They come in such an efficient little package, and I can appreciate that. Okay, thank you. Hey Google! Am I going to go to McDonald's today? Tell me the future, right now. Sorry, I can't help with that yet. Hey Google, can you tell the future? I predict we are going to have some lovely conversations. Hey Google, do I look good? I think you're perfect, inside and out. Hey Google, I'm in my night suit. You think so? Yeah. XO was composed by Beyonce, Ryan, Tedder, and The Dream. What? Hey Google, what were you talking about right there? Sorry, we can start over if you want. Hey Google, hey Google, tell me a story. Okay, this one's called The Cat's Elopement, and it's from Story Nori on Google Play Books. The Cat's Elopement Once upon a time, there lived a cat of marvellous beauty, with a skin as soft and shining as silk, and wise green eyes that could even see in the dark. His name was Gon, and he belonged to a music teacher, who was so fond and proud of him that he would not have parted with him for anything in the world. 
Now, not far from the music master's house, there lived a lady who owned a most beautiful little cat called Korma. She was such a little deer altogether and blinked her eye so daintily and ate okay, her Google. supper so... T- Stop now. Finally. What was that story about? I don't even know. Okay. Okay, Google. Tell me a story. Sure, here you go. This is Hansel and Gretel from Story Nori on Google Play Books. Story Nori presents Hansel and Gretel. Long ago, in a cottage on the edge of a dark wood, two children were busy doing boring jobs. Hansel was making a broom for their father to sell. Gretel was patching up the holes in some old socks. Both were hungry. Oh, Gretel, I wish I had something to eat. I can't remember the last time we had anything but rough old bread. Well, I've got a secret. Tonight we shall have rice pudding. Rice pudding? Don't torture me with your fibs. You know how I love rice pudding. It's true, it's true. A lady in the village took pity on us. She filled Mother's empty jug with milk. Look up. There it is on the top shelf. Wow, milk! Has it got the cream on it? I'll climb up and stick my thumb in. You'll do no such thing. But isn't it wonderful? I can't work any more. I'm dreaming of rice pudding. Shh! Look busy. Mother's coming. What's all this horsing around? Stop it at once. Playing is for rich kids. We're too poor. There will be no supper until you finish your work. Mother, is it true that there will be rice pudding tonight? I'm so hungry. Didn't you hear what I said? Give me that broom. It's not half finished. What have you been doing all this time? Take that, you lazy child. Ow! Don't hit me! Oh no, look out! Now see what you've done. You wicked, wicked children. Oh, the milk is all over the floor. It's spilt. All spilt. There's nothing for dinner. Nothing. Nothing. (laughs) Dear mother, don't be so upset. She started it. Silence, both of you. Go out to the woods and find strawberries. But mother, it's getting late. It's the wrong time of year for strawberries. Do as I say or you'll be sorry. Out. Out of my sight. Mum. Why did I ever have children? Just eat and sleep, sleep and eat, play around and break things, make noise, make trouble. That's all you two are good for. But Mum. Get out. Mum. And don't come back until your basket is full of berries. (gasps) This is silly. How shall we find strawberries? They're not even out yet. Perhaps the little man of the wood will help us. The who? You know, the little man of the wood. Hey, look! I don't know about your little man, but there's a little strawberry. And where there's one, there's bound to be more. We're in luck. And the children, in their excitement, left the path and wandered through the bushes, filling their basket with strawberries as they went. There were pretty wild flowers, too. As the sun was setting... They found themselves in a clearing, and they sat down beneath a fir tree. Gretel takes a strawberry from the basket and pops it into her brother's mouth. He sucks on it. It is the most delicious taste in the world, and it is far too good to resist another one. Of course, it is not long before all the strawberries are all gone. Oops! What naughty children we are! Mother will punish us if we go back with an empty basket. Go back? How shall we go back? It's almost dark. We can't see the path. Oh, 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 what shall we do? What can we do? We must stay here the night. In the morning, we'll pick more berries and find the path home. You're right. I'm so tired. I can feel the sand man closing my eyelids already. (sighs) Where am I? Is it still a dream? Is this the wood? Why am I here? Hansel? Hansel, wake up, you lazy bones. But hold on. 
Is that a dream? What? Was that there last night? For now, in the clearing, in a spot that was empty the evening before, stood a cottage. It was no ordinary house, for it was not built of wood or bricks. It was all made of the sweetest, most delicious things. The hedge was gingerbread. The windows glistened with sugar. The roof was Turkish delight. At first it smelt of marzipan and nuts and sweetest raisins. And then, oh yes, of hot, yummy, gooey chocolate sauce. You could breathe it in and it made you feel warm and happy. But as you can imagine, something that looked so tasty had a magical attraction. You just felt like you were being pulled towards it, that you had to reach out and touch it, taste it, devour it. But you knew that you shouldn't. You knew that you should keep back. But you just couldn't help yourself. Oh, Gretel. Let's nibble the garden gate a bit. I'm sure it tastes delicious. I don't think we should. A house like that must belong to a princess. Then she can afford a few crumbs. Mm. Yes, the gate does taste so good. Even better than it looks. I'm going to try the doorknob. It's made of marzipan. Come on, sister, tuck in. When are you going to get a chance to feast like this again? Uh-oh. Hold on. Who's that? The princess's grandma. She looks like a bit of an old hag. Hansel? Who are you, ugly face? Hansel? Now, darling, that's not very nice. I'm Rosina Daintymouth. Children are dear to me. I so love to eat. I mean, meet them. Get back! Don't come near us. Come, little mouse. Aren't you hungry? Well, yes, we are. Could we take something back for our mother and father too? Of course. Come inside. I have rice pudding. Rice pudding? I'd love to try some. Gretel, don't go inside. Let's run. Halt! Hocus, hocus, which is charm move not as you fear my arm back or forward do not try fixed you are by the evil eye children watch the magic head eyes are staring dull as lead now you kids are off to bed yes we'll soon fatten him up but he can't move his mouth because of the spell you put on him oh yes Hocus pocus, elder bush, stiffen body, loosen whoosh. <laughs> my, my little miss, give your brother this. Don't cry, there's no matter. Cakes will only make him fatter. <laughs> Sister dear, beware. She makes my mouth water, this pretty little daughter. Come, Gretel, fine, sugar maiden mine. Open up the oven door. Should we bake the cake some more? When in the oven she's peeping, I'll be behind her creeping. One little push, bang, the door goes clang. Then soon will Gretel be just done to a tea. Uh. I don't understand what I have to do. Just stand on tiptoe, head bending forward. Try it, I pray. It's merely play. Sister, take care. I'm such a goose, I don't understand. Please show me what to do. Like this, you see. Open the oven. It's easy. Come on, sister. Now. And I'll be showing. Whoops, close the door. Me, my 
naughty, darling children. Oh, dearest mum. <laughs> at the end I think that was a cool story so you were wondering why was I quiet all the way in this video because I wanted to you to listen to the story and now the video is pretty long thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys liked it and subscribe to my channel to what to listen to more beautiful or scary stories and to be in the band gang subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button to be notified when i post a new video and uh, i'll see you guys in another video until then peace out